we might be nationalized by different dialects, different names, and different culture, but the same principles dictate our governance of living. For this reason, I stand here today on behalf of the nation, demanding equal justice for all citizens, the petition. Not only do I stand here for the nation or to speak to the country, nor the continent, but to also speak for humanity. Equal justice must prevail for all citizens. Politely, I would like to bring this petition to the notice of the Electoral Commission, a governmental body to protect the right of the country's democratic rights. From the 7th of May to 27th of May, they have given us 20 days to practice our voting registration rights. And this, I have put a petition on behalf of the nation against it, asking the EC to reconsider this duration and extend the time for us. 27th of May, this practice is supposed to end making it exactly 20 days for 33 million people as a nation is certainly not enough, certainly impossible to make it right for a country. Now let's look at other countries like Europe or America. I think our democracy is based on a system that they practice. They have a whole year that they open their systems for the nation to be able to register their voting rights. And throughout this year, they take their time to educate the youth and the people of the country so they can understand what democracy means. When you come to Africa, it's the opposite. They're giving us 20 days, 20 days. Not only that, but looking at this petition that I'm asking for an extension, let's consider the youth of this country. This practice is going on in May, when is the time, the actual time for most educational platforms in this country to be preparing for their exams. And therefore, we're only giving them two days to come out to register. And most of these kids are being bashed for the purposes of other people's interest, not for the nation. Well, I don't believe that this is democracy if we're going to practice it this way. We have to be fair with our people and to our people. And therefore, I'm asking again for this petition to be extended. For the youth, that is 74.9% of this nation, how can we deprive them out? How can we deprive them from their rights? Secondly, I think this is an opportunity to educate the youth and their democratic rights. The ones who are turning 18 this year, including my own son who turns 18 in June, unfortunately, he has to wait for another four years before he gets the opportunity to be a part of democracy. And that is the fundamental basis of governance in this country. Thirdly, which I just don't understand, in 2016, they needed 26,000 polling centers to do this registration. In 2020, they had to increase from 26,000 to 33,000 polling centers before they can practice the registration of democratic rights. Unfortunately, in 2024, we don't have 33,000 stations or polling stations for people to register. Instead, 
We have 258 offices by the AC that has three to four different constituencies within there, making it 1,068 spaces, which is 3% of the 33,000 polling votes, uh, polling stations that helped us to do the registration in the past four years. My question is, how is this going to be possible by using just 1,068 spaces commanding the entire nation, people to come from different types of regions, people to travel 20, 50 kilometers just so they can have a registration. I'm asking this nation to reconsider, this government to also reconsider how we're being governed as a nation. Give us the rights, give us the chance so we can practice democracy the way it's supposed to be practiced. And I'm saying this boldly, that politicians will come and go. Their lifetime is four to eight years. But the government is the body of this country, is the fundamental basis of how we as a nation should be governed. And therefore, we cannot govern this nation based on a politician's interest. I'm asking, politely that as a country, as a nation, we should all come together and go forward with this petition, making sure that the EC grants us the extension. And I think as a nation, we have the right to do so. I believe that Ghana is the hope of Africa. We were the first to gain our independence. We are respected and we are looked up to by a lot of African countries. And we should not lose our constitutional democratic reputation. This could dent our image. This can deprive us from the rights of many things that we do. I'm urging the nation today to come together and asking for the people to be empowered and they must exercise their constitutional and their democratic rights. May the power of this universe that helps us to govern our destiny, lead us through this moment and these situations, and one understanding for us to build one nation, one people, and one country. Thank you.